Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. We are still on a pretty good win streak right now. I'm very, very happy with the fact that we are staying alive, staying alive. It's good stuff. Um, and I think I'm going to play as Golem this time around. It's been a little while since we played as him and he is a fun chap, as all of you know. Um, we're going to give him a go and see what we can do. There has been some new Golem rocks added in a Fiendfolio update a while back, but also... I saw that the um, Samuel character has added some new rocks to Golem as well, which is an interesting idea. I've not really seen any other mods add to the Golem character before, but that's something that we've uh, we've got here, which is rather nice. Um, I think we want to pre-grind this one and see what we get. Um, the player's bombs create a ring of shockwaves, uh, spawns five bombs when crushed. Potentially interesting. Um, and then we'll crush this one as well for some extra HP. And we'll check out this bomb idea now and see how it goes. Do you know what's pretty useful? Oh, oddly smooth stone off the bat is incredibly good. Um, just means we're going to get extra HP when we do stuff. One second. Yeah, it's going to be super, super useful to have that. Um, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I, I tend to not play um, Golem particularly well. I feel like I always either overly neglect... Um, my trinkets or think about them too much. I can never really find a good balance between. Um, that's a pretty good uh, item there as well for us. Oh, hello. Okay. This is a very, very good start. Um, and dexterity here on top of that is helpful. Also, I love the way Golem looks with um, <laughs> with the Kern head. That's amazing. But yeah, that tier's up there. Huge, hugely beneficial to us um, off the bat. Really like to get some stats really early on but yeah we'll probably be sticking with oddly smooth stone not being um not being smelted for a while just because i think it's better off not being um and everything else we'll try and smell as we come across it i mean this rock blast one i'm i'm a little iffy on it's decent but i don't know if we need to keep it because we obviously need bombs to enable it being good which we don't really have right now, so we'll have to kind of see how that progresses in terms of how many bombs we end up getting to uh, where the, the real value in that lies. Um, for the question of the day today, I'm not going to go into specifics, but I've just had an absolutely hell of a time with... God damn, this fucking first floor has been amazing. Uh, a hell of a time with stuff in my in my work going all sorts of awry. Um, what's, what's been your, like, biggest financial hardship? Um... Secret disc will just pop. Secret disc. This one will pop. Planetarium disc. Drop disc. We're just gonna pop all the discs now. Get the main benefit out of it. Uh, but yeah, but what's what's been sort of your main financial hardship in your life? Whether it's something that's ongoing or something that you've just had to deal with in the past. I know obviously that's like a, a pretty loaded question, and some of you might not feel comfortable answering that, and that's fine. Um For those of you that don't feel comfortable answering it, here's an alternative. Um What's something that you would immediately spend money on if you had as much money to spend as you wanted? What would be your first go-to, like, this is the immediate thing I'm going to buy? If you didn't have to worry. It's a dual question of the day today. Um, we get the the weight here. So that's um, a speed down grants damage up that scales off how slow the player is. Chance to block damage that scales with how slow the player is. I'm actually really intrigued by that, you know. Um, I'm going to take that because the speed down is annoying, but the damage up is pretty good here. Um, also, buddy in a box from our boss. That's not a boss item, so we must have chaos right now. Um, which is kind of interesting. No! 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 I left the fucking smooth stone. Goddamn shithead, stupid piece of crap. God fucking, ah, oh, What the bollocks, you stupid fucker, idiot little small brain piss. Ah! Oh. It didn't trade out the right fucking one. Fuck you. So fucking annoyed. So fucking annoyed. 
was so stupid. I didn't trade out the right bloody one. I didn't pay enough attention to... Ugh. Genuinely so very annoyed at myself right now. That is uh, truly annoying. But my, my thinking was going to be with the KG thing is that... The damage up is really nice, but also the ability to block damage mixed with the fact that we already have Kernhead could be really, really good. I'm not going to dwell on losing the oddly shaped stone um, now because it, what's done is done. I was very tempted to, to, to like just cheat it back in because I hate myself, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to pretend we never found it. And honestly, this this stone stone thingy is not bad, so. Let's not fret too much. Um, plus five bombs. Bombs summon a ring of blood explosions around themselves. Okay, we are building up somewhat of a bomb-centric uh, idea here. Um, I will smelt this for now. <sighs> the anger that I hold for my own self right now is uh, righteous. And just... Oh, my God. My goodness, I'm an idiot. Damage-wise, things are looking good, though. And I think, yeah, bombs are going to be pretty pretty schmacking. I think we're also going to do quite a lot with our bombs. Need to get back over here, good sir. Extra speed is good. Oh, no, it's not. Idiot. Shouldn't have taken that. It's fine. We only lost a little bit of damage. Really shouldn't have taken that. Should have just dealt with the low speed. I'm trying to think of what what else could give a speed down. Small rock could be good for a speed down. Um, thunder thighs and the like could be good for a speed down. Pills probably want to take pills for the chance at speed down. I was just as likely to get a speed up. Oh god damn it! Despise this boss. Yeah, because you just lock me in like that, you bitch. Very interesting bombs we got going on right now. I like it. Um, Bell Clapper's decent here, and then we get occasionally burns nearby enemies, um, smelts your other trinket when grinded. And I think I'm going to leave the Devil Deal and tr try to take on the Angel. Um, in terms of boss, we've already done Mother, okay. Let's, uh, let's head this way then. Ugh, so annoyed at myself. So annoyed at myself. I am an idiot. At least we got the bomb thing, because the bomb thing is cool. But still... Let's not dwell. Let's not dwell on my past failings. Oh god, yeah. This was bad. This was bad. Get away from me, you stupid ghost. Figgity. Figgity, fuck off. <laughs> god. Oh, we're starting this episode with a lot of anger. A lot of anger, people. Okay, really need some more health coming in pretty soonish here. Um, we want to be looking for secret rooms maybe to uh, to alleviate that because we can smell a bunch of uh, potential trinkets that we get. We can not smelt them, sorry. We can crush them. Yeah, these guys throw their heads and they explode when they throw them, right? Yep. That they do. That they do. Yeah, not so bad. Oh, you bugger. Didn't think you could reach that far. Right, check out the shop for a soul heart here because we kind of need it. No, nope, we did get a pill, which I'm going to take. It was a health buff. That's actually not too bad. Um, Let me just quickly drop these. Occasionally burns enemies... Um, when grinded smelts your other trinket. I I always forget which one grinded is. Be, like the difference between grinded and crushed is not something that I've uh, become very good at spotting yet. Not at all. So I don't really know which one that is. I think it's here maybe. 
No, I'm pretty bad with the secret rooms right now. Maybe, it, was that the one that I just checked? It might well be. My bad if that's the case. I'm liking our uh, buddy right now. Our buddy in a box is creating a lot of uh, spiders for us. Very, very nice. Lots of large rooms here. Lots and lots of large rooms. Get out of here. Right, move past the spikes. I need to be getting closer to any to try and set them on fire, really, if I can. Just gonna do the boss now. The slowing effect here is very, very nice. Ho oh, doggy. Ho oh, doggy. Good kill. That's pretty good. Um, blue spiders are replaced with friendly rock spiders. Chance to replace with... Ooh, ooh, that's very interesting. Okay, so... When grinded smelts your other trinket. Let's try and find out what the hell grinded is. Because I feel like that's crushed and that's grinded, right? We don't have money to do that right now. Excellent. We get ourselves chance to fire petrifying tears. Gains a ran grant us a random baby when crushed. Okay, so if this grants us a random baby, then this is definitely grinded. So we put that in there. So let's go home, okay. And it did grant us a random baby. Oh no, did it? Oh yeah, it did. It gave us the minecart. Nice. Okay, right. Um... I'm going to do a bomb here as well. I found pills. Okay, so now we need a little bit of money. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> Wouldn't let me my shop there. Why, didn't, why don't I use this to destroy some mushrooms? Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Oh, it's a speed up. God damn it, this, none of this went the way I was hoping it would. <laughs> right, now I need a little bit of money here. I think I, need, I think I only need three, to be honest. It's not a lot. Okay. A little bit of stress coming in, but nevertheless, we push forward. A beautiful day outside today. It was meant to be really horrible today. Um, forecast was meant to be like rainy as all heck, but a really nice day. So I think I'm going to... Take my lunch and eat it in the park. Just to have a little bit of an outing. There's the money we need. Gimme, thank you. Um, Good, good. Yeah, I'm going to say, I think it'd be really nice to head out to the park and eat my lunch. Just just to like, get out. Just to get out the house. It's nice, especially when I work from home. I kind of need those, uh, those outings to keep me sane. Okay. Gimme that. Right. Gimme and... Gimme. Right, so now we go down here. And we go like this with this one. And that should smelt this. It did smelt this. Good. Um, I guess we take the shiny rock. It is what it is. Um, okay. Good stuff. And then we go here. Just grab this. We've got quite a few other rooms to do here. We should do them. No reason not to really. Damn, I'm so annoyed we managed to up our speed so much. Not what I was intending at all. But I'm, I'm glad that we have the, the, the lock thing in now. I think the damage bonus will obviously be a bit less because it's smelted. Um, but it should still be useful. Um, I'm not that bothered about losing the fire, the potential fire damage. And then having some more open slots for trinkets is of course nice too. Not too bad. That is why we do it, baby. That is why we do it. I was not expecting a soul harp. I'm very happy to see one right now. That guy got set on fire anyways. Was that my uh, my cart that did that? I think it was my cart that did that. Secret room maybe here. I know I'm trying lots of different areas for secret rooms, but they are very valuable because they always give us a trinket. Um, and this one we get the Obsidian Grindstone. Damage boost, um, da damage up tiers up. Boost is holding another rock trinket. Every 30 tiers, 
Reroll the other held trinket. Um, extra effects do not um, apply to pocket stand. Intriguing. I think I like the idea of this. It's going to reroll our other trinket all the time. But my thinking is, let's just not have another trinket, right? <laughs> Let's just um, grind this up and get the HP. I think that makes a lot of sense. I love this hub area. Such a good idea. Um, and then, yeah, let's just grab this for now. Um, and we... we let's just head on down. We've got two other rooms here, but let's just head on down. I'm liking the stat boost. It's a pretty hefty stat boost as well, which is, of course, exactly what we need. Um, especially losing some of that speed-based uh, damage boost. Happy to have some of it back. My stats are actually in a real good place right now. I do not like you, my good sir. In fact, so much so that I'm just going to bomb through here so I can shoot you more easily. And of course, you uh, slap me in the face there, don't you? Okay, now that was close. There's a lot of stunning and, and weird shit going on right now. Uh, we did get our, our trinket rerolled. We're going to have to be constantly looking. Uh, do, does nothing. And it says does not affect pocket sand, so... Maybe it rerolls things into Pocket Send. I wonder if I can still trade it for HP. I'm going to guess not. I'm guessing that's like one of the cutoffs for us. But we'll find out, I guess. We will find out. I mean, if you can still get HP for it, then it's, it's pretty amazing. But yeah, I'd, I'd expect that you can't. I think that would be a little bit nutty. Really should be using my cart more to destroy as much stuff as possible, but it is a little cumbersome to do that, so... And, of course, there's the chance that I end up hurting myself. It's just not easy to, to direct it exactly where you hope to direct it to. That's the biggest issue with the cart. Like, it's a really, really useful thing to have, but actually, like, thoroughly using it to destroy the rocks you want to destroy... Definitely not great. And also, trying to use it to deal damage is equally as cumbersome, so... I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Like, I just wanted to hit these rocks here, but it's very hard to do that. Nice. Very, very nice item here. Baby Pluto. I do love it. He is a good lass, or a good lad, however you see fit. Uh, right, so, Pocket Sand. Let's, um... Not perfect. Yeah, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Health-wise, we're looking pretty good, and it's unfortunate we lost our oddly smooth stone, but honestly, we're in a, a good position regardless, so I don't really mind. I mean, this this grindstone, Ascidian grindstone, is one of the better trinkets I've seen from this guy in a while. Um, it seems really interesting. Ouch. I'm probably going to get hit quite a few times here. Get out of here. Not too bad. We probably don't need to do too much more on this floor in terms of messing around with trinkets. We'll see if we get one from the uh, the secret room if we find it. But the other one will only be the, just, just, just the boss one that we get. But yeah, I love Baby Pluto. Just a, a, a crazy little fella. A crazy little fella that we all love. Amazing, but we're uh, we're also turning stuff into stone now. Do we do we have that petrified one uh, set up? We we did have a one that petrified, but I don't know if we actually have that still. I don't think we do. So it must be something to do with our uh, our buddy in a box. Oh, for fuck, beat her! I don't even need to kill you. You were just a nuisance, an absolute nuisance. Got me hit multiple times for literally zero reason. I would class that as incredibly rude. My good dude. Okay, and then we got another trinket here. Swallow Geode, spawn a penny when damaged. Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll take that for now. Um, okay, we got an additional stat boost there. I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe that's something to do with how the obsidian uh, thingy works. We have to be holding another one to get the stat boost. I guess. Yeah. 
works for me, to be honest. Ooh. Free bit of luck up. Very nice to see. Rooms like this are a nightmare. Mainly because these enemies in general are kind of a nightmare. But it's just a lot of faffing around. Fuck off. Die. Die. You stupid long-tongued bitch. Sometimes enemies do not cooperate, do they? I'm trying to get my teeny tiny baby boy to do some stuff for me, but... Wasn't really working out. There you go. He did it. He did it. He got there in the end. My baby Pluto little fella. Don't get on me with these stupid bee stingers. Bee enemies are some of the worst. Some of the most annoying. Speed down. Damn it. I've never wanted to speed down so bad in all my life. Such a good bomb effect. Beautiful kill on that guy. Got our angel deal. Uh, we got our pocket sand now as well. Grants a cumulative luck range, tears, or shot speed up when entering a secret room. Bonuses uh, um, only apply while holding the trinket. Wait, so first of all, let's uh, let's grab that back. Let's go in here. Definitely take the pride pin. Explosions cause rocks that deal two times tier damage to fall from the sky randomly. Um, doubles the player's tier size. I'm going to go with this and then um, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to come in here. And then I'm going to smelt that bad boy. So I think that works well with our rock-based synergy stuff we got going on. And then we just take this as it is. That gives us the, the boost to our damage and that. And we go down to the next floor. Pride pin as well. Pretty good here. Random tier, tier effects are pretty useful. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So far, I think this run's reasonably safe. It's, uh, it's definitely got a little bit of uncertainty to it, but nothing major. we got a lot of mini Isaacs going right now. I like that. <laughs> a lot of mini fellas. Okay. See, that's... I think, I think the whole explosions, falling rocks and everything, it all combines into something pretty interesting. Fight on all of those guys. Chariot, I'm going to try for this. Unfortunate. But yeah, if we ever use a bomb on a boss, we get a bit of extra out of it. I like that idea. Turn everything to poop. There's a few pride pin tier effects that are really, really strong as well. Even that one we just got that like lowers the tier of the enemy is very, very good. We're back to having pocket sand again now. Getting that eternal heart as well puts us in a really good spot health-wise. This is one of the really strong tier effects as well. Booyah. My god. But yeah, been a, been a relatively stressful time for me at the moment, work-wise and stuff. Um, certainly not been the most ideal um, of situations. But we get through it, don't we? Uh, encyclopedia, we don't care about. This is... A potential reroll. I don't actually know what that entails. I'm gonna hold off and try and purchase whatever that is. A linger bean effect here as well. Some bees now. Hey, there you go. We needed seven. It gave us seven. Beautiful. Um, and yeah, honestly, screw pretty good. Um, let's actually pop down here real quick and get rid of our pocket sand again. So we put pocket sand in here. Let me grab that. Good stuff. 
So we need to take a look at when po when it becomes pocket sand because I thought it was on level transition, but I feel like last floor it just kind of happened to one of our trinkets mid floor. I'm not exactly sure what triggered that. I kind of need to be aware. The, the one problem is the way that I've got my monitors set up. Okay, no, there you go. Re rolled. Um, the way that I've got my monitors set up. Oh no, now it's pocket sand again. What the hell? Let me let me let me take a look at exactly how the obsidian thing works. Um, when holding another rock trinket, every 30 tiers re-rolls the other. Okay, so basically every 30 tiers we fire, it re-rolls it until it becomes pocket sand. But it seems to become pocket sand awfully quick, I'll be honest. I just want to fucking hit these skulls, you see what I mean? It's so frustrating to, like, aim this goddamn car. It doesn't at all go where you want it to. So maybe this, maybe this thing isn't as good as I've been giving it credit for because, like, things are just becoming pocket sand way too often. And maybe losing out on some potentially pretty good effects. We'll see what we get at the end of this floor and sort of make our decision based on that. More bombs is always useful for us. Make our decision based on that. Goddamn, money-wise, we've been absolutely destitute this entire run. We've never had money. It has not come to us. I'm not sure what type of attack we're firing right now. These are the poop shots. At least consumables otherwise are, are looking pretty damn spicy. Getting a lot of what we need. Secret room. I I'm checking secret rooms a lot, but they're pretty valuable, so it is worth it. See, that's also potentially pretty useful. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna get rid of the Obsidian Grindstone now. Because I, I can't... Now I kind of understand how it works. It's kind of not really playing in my favour. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop you up and give me some uh, Soul Hearts. And you I'm gonna re-roll. So it's a lot of damage to lose. Tiger's Eye Familiar that bounces around the room dealing damage. And um, the contact damage. Blocking shots. Okay. Decent. And then we'll take the Fighting Rocks as well. Why not? I'm just kind of play it by ear from here on out because yeah didn't really work the way i was hoping it would my uh my tears uh, my damage stat is uh all over the place right now is that from bell clapper i think that's from bell clapper isn't it yeah it is okay this guy is a major major pain in the ass Okay, we got him before the, the pain really started. Stem cells is fine. And then we get the cast gem. Grants a homing gem that can be cast while attacking and stick to enemies inflicting damage and bruising. Um, interesting. Let's let's take that over the fighting one. We'll put our fighting rock over here. Some extra HP for it. And we'll try out this um, this cast gem. I imagine the cast gem is like the gems from the planetarium item you can get. That's what that's what sort of comes to mind for me. Yeah, so it is the sort of one where we have to pick it up. I don't think we have to get it at the end of a room, though, do we? No, it comes back to us before the room ends. Okay, overall, quite like it. I don't think it's something that I'll pick up every single room. Like, I'm not going to go back and, and try and keep using it for every enemy. But I can get some use out of it, definitely. I mean, the fact that it's got a bit of herming on it there helps as well. Could you stop hovering over the rocks where I can't hurt you, please? Oh, great. Thanks for that. It was very fair. Very kind of you, my good sir. Whoa, you have a lot of HP, my guy. Ooh, what the hell? Random black heart there. Uh, I managed to destroy one of the skulls there. You know what? Again, stop hiding out over rocks. You're a dick. We ought to be checking out shops at this point because we do have uh, a lot of um, keys. I think I am going to try and buy the Bible here, um, if plausible. I know we're not quite there yet, but... Four more coins to be able to instantly kill Mum and Mum's heart is pretty nice. We do have some pennies back 
further where we came from as well that we can utilize. What we need is some sort of attack that's going to be constantly doing explosions. Just leave the coins on the floor for now. Make our way. We'll deal with that later as it comes. Right. We've got one coin here, another coin back there, and I'm sure we'll end up getting two more around the floor somewhere, I'd hope. I mean, we can always buy my donation machine if we really want it, but I feel like the Bible... Not exactly the sort of thing you regularly, regularly, regularly? I can't say that word. Would uh, bomb your donation machine for. I think most people would agree, but hey her. There you go, there's another one. Lil Monstra. Don't know how to feel about Lil Monstra. I think he's decent. I don't think he's great. Um, just because he's he does a lot of damage, but he's rather like hard to utilize fully and he's kind of inaccurate. So, we'll just see how he plays out, really. There's another penny for the cause. That's so hard, at least. Whoa, the, the sucky, sucky thing, like, proper drag me in there. No pennies to this room, unfortunately. Okay, we're getting slightly close to this being a, a, a bit of a problem in terms of money. Managed to accidentally hit the one thing I'm not meant to hit. And now things have gotten very confusing. We are all good. These enemies are an absolute pain in the ass, I'll be honest. The little eyeball bouncing around can really cause some havoc. Of course the gem can get stuck into enemies that can't be damaged. That's just fantastic. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It was worth a half of one penny in this scenario. You watch this next room over here drop a penny anyways, and that was not worth my time at all. But yeah, honestly, the temporary flight, it is what it is. I, I, I'll i get some use out of it, but not a lot. But the, the real the real thing is being able to kill mum and mum's heart instantly is, is pretty valuable, I think. Not that those fights are super difficult for me. It's just it saves time. It, it, it reduces any potential of me getting hit. Overall, it's just very, very valuable. Right. Make our way downtown. Not to worry about those ghosty boys. And we don't have an active right now either, so it kind of lends itself towards that. And, I mean, on the lesser side, it is it is a contribution towards Bookworm, so that's good at least. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the Bible. Not fighting you, good hosty boy. No thanks. And we are obviously quite significantly past boss rush here, but hey her. Um, what do we get here? We get the, uh, Thorny Rock. Special Radio Shockwave when damaged. Eh, that's not super useful for us. Um, I think we're going to take the Polaroid here. Spiky Block. It's not super valuable. I think I'm going to leave that as it is. Get out of here. Sadly, we don't get the ability to trade in that rock specifically from the boss on this floor, but hey her. I'd love an item that adds the hub area, like, to other characters. I think the hub area is, is really fun. And if it, if it just, like, had, like, your shop in it and stuff, it'd be kind of nice. Kind of like a black market style thing. Dude, this, this enemy is really hard to kill. But yeah, just gotta remember that we do have, we do have the Bible now for temporary flight, if we so choose to use that. Taken care of. We do have that there. Ah, uh, Priestess is potentially useful on this floor's boss at least. Definitely feel like our damage leaves a lot to be desired right now. Our damage feels reasonably low. 
The uh, the pride pin is definitely giving us a little bit more on top of that with the, the effects. Oh yeah, still still definitely leaves a bit to be desired. Because I mean, like, look at how slow we're killing things right now. It's kind of depressing. These sort of enemies. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much because enemies just don't fucking die. Holy hell, these guys have so much health. Certain tier effects like that make it a whole lot easier, but still. Yeah, our cart does a good bit of damage there. Ah, for God's sake, we can hit so much to such bullshit. Oh, the slick. The poop slick on the floor got me. A lot of health lost here. A lot of unnecessary health lost. Oh, we got this again? I didn't realize you could get the same one twice. That's interesting. Right, I think in this scenario, I'm actually going to go and do something a little bit interesting. I think I'm going to go over here and for one, let's bomb you. Um, So th this one I definitely want to just get rid of. This one I also think I want to get rid of. Get us a little bit more HP. And then this one I think I want to, I think I want to start re-rolling. Um... First of all, I've got to do this, though. I've got to go. And I'm going to see what happens if I have two of these. I'll be honest. I, I'm, I'm curious. Although, should I just re-roll this one? Because I already have one of it. Probably a better idea, to be honest. Let's just re-roll this one. Fair shop purchase each floor is heavily discounted, but will disappear when bought. Um, they are spawned at the start of the next floor. That's not very useful for us. We can at least trash it. Good stuff. Okay, health is in a much better spot now. Let's get gone. I still love the way the pride pin visually on the character every um, every so often. Like whenever you change tier effect, it changes which pride flag it represents. I think that's pretty interesting. It's a good idea for a like a equal representation pride item. I like it a lot. It's like that extra bit of unnecessary effort that kind of goes a long way. Like, I don't think anyone would be complaining if it was just the regular Rainbow Pride frag. I say regular, but you know what I mean. The, the one that everyone recognizes as Pride. Um, I don't think anyone would complain if it was only that flag, but... They went the extra mile. But then again, I like as I've found out through just being friends with a lot of modders and, and knowing the Isaac community, there is actually a hell of a lot of LGBTQ people in the modding community. So it wouldn't surprise me if a good few people on the modding team um, represented different parts of the Pride community. So it kind of makes sense to have that equal representation because of that. I'm just going to have to pause for a minute. Uh, one sec. Right, I am back. Sorry, it's just incredibly sweaty right now, and I don't know why. I think it's just because it's warmer weather slightly, but um, I've just opened both my windows and could get a bit of a drink, because, yeah. I mean, I'm sat in jeans. I probably shouldn't be in jeans. I might, might, might put some shorts on, or, uh, or at least some trackies, because it's, yeah. Honestly, goddamn, our damage. Our damage is so pathetically low. Like, how many damage ups do we have? I'm pretty sure Bell Clapper is the only... Bell Clapper and the speed down thing are the only real damage ups we have. And they're just not enough. I mean, I'm getting hit so much because of this. I'm hoping we can just make it through the floors though. I mean, obviously this floor, hey, this is what, this is what I was saying about having the Bible for the library. If there's only two books in here, we at least still get Bookworm. Ow. Um, quite a lot of books in here. Okay. Um... Any book active use, used will now be buffed. Um, com completing a challenge room will, will award a book. Interesting. So let me let me go and kill Mums first because I've got I've got the ability to kill it instantly. But I'm assuming I'm assuming by buffed it just means it gets like used twice. Oh my god! I lost my morbid heart, dude. These fucking enemies take too long to kill. <laughs> A damage sucks, but in a butt. Ow. 
now. There's a spike rock there. Did not see that. Dude, stop regenerating fucking spike rocks. I goddamn hate this curse. <laughs> Screws me every time. Right, we're going to need some serious health here because uh, at the minute things aren't looking too hot for us. I might genuinely die here, so this this is this could be the beginning of the end. You go away. First of all, let's go down here. Both of these are going in the trash because I need HP. Right, out we go. Back over to change over our books. Um, with, yeah, within getting extra effect, I think I want to take the one that gives me mum, dad, slash guppy items. That sounds pretty good. I don't know what they gained effectively. I'm assuming it just gets used twice whenever it gets used. That would make the most sense to me. Bookworm, there you go. Yeah, this would make the most sense to me. We got flight from somewhere? Did Bookworm give us flight because of this item? Oh, wait. Maybe maybe the Bible gave us flight for the entire floor. And let's do this. And we'll, we'll try and do a hush fight here. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit scared about this, but I feel like I have to try. Ooh, okay, we did get a token here, which is very good. This here isn't great for us, but we'll take it. Restock's not amazing either, but I guess. Actually, wait, restock could be really good. Let me just see. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't really work the way I'd hoped it would. I thought it would outscale the cost, but it doesn't. That's another speed up. Do we really want to speed up? Probably not. Nope. Didn't want to go down here. Oopsie. Guess I'll take Roid Rage. That's a speed up, actually. Oops. Parasitoid doubled is interesting. I don't know how two of them does anything for us. I just want to quickly try something. I'm going to use my book here. We got Mum's underwear. I'm going to grab another charge. Use it again. Grab another charge. Just in case we get these items for the entire floor is what I'm thinking. Because if we do, which it kind of looks like we do, um, then actually let's pop it. Yeah, let's pop it again. And then... There you go. Cool. And it might mean that we get a ton of items there for the for the fight. God damn, look at our buddy in a box. He's so he's so chunky. I'm hoping Parasitoid is really the thing that saves us here. Cause yeah, our damage right now is pretty piss poor. I'm thinking that potentially there's a there's a chance when we've got the uh, parasitoid T is doing work for us, and then obviously we've got uh, Pride Pin playing its part as well. Also, there seems to be rocks falling very regularly. I think our little buddy is firing its off explosions every now and again. Dude, why do my bombs always go so skew if? Just land where I want you to land, fuck's sake. I want it here. I don't want it to move from there. Leave it there.
Right. Not done too bad so far. Yeah, I think my little buddy's got Explosivo or something on him. We are getting explosions reasonably regularly. Let's get these bees actually doing some work here. That's produced a lot of flies, but they're kind of going for the wrong enemy there. The damage output of the bombs is pretty good. Okay, just keep on keeping on. Bit of a long journey for us here, but it is what it is. I wanted to get this completion mark out of the way. I don't know how I unlocked the Soul of Golem, actually, without doing... Hush. I thought it was. I thought it would have been uh, boss rush and hush together, like it is with the uh, tainted characters, but I guess not. Rock fucking bombs! Ah, it's because I've got this tiny little wee little fucker do doing his uh, spinny, tiny planet shots, but it's still very frustrating. Really, I should be using a um, little monster uh, a little more often to try and deal damage. Someone that I've not really been paying too much attention to. And he is extra DPS at the end of the day, so... I should pay more attention to the little guy. He's a cute little fella, to be honest. He is. I mean, his his, his tagline, I'm pretty sure, is like his, his tag text for the item is just, Ain't he cute? That's something that I like. I feel like of all my time in Isaac, I still don't like really know um, what like the tagline text from most items is. Like, I could not tell you for the life of me what the tagline text from Mum's underwear is. It's probably something like yuck or something, but I, I I don't know. Like genuinely, that that stuff never sticks with me. Is there any like particular item that you guys have that like the the tag text like sticks with you, or you you really remember it? Also, just gotta note that my health here is not great, but we've not got much of the fight left, so let's not dwell. Probably only another minute or so to go. Why? Why do you have to do this attack now? I was feeling so comfortable and reasonably positive. And you send down the holy beams of death. Okay, good. He's dead. Took a bit of doing, but he's dead. Chance to spawn a whatever the hell that is on room clear. Um, can be used to reroll one thing in the room um, it spawned in. Okay. I think this is actually one of the ones that you get from the Samuel class, as I was saying about earlier. Which is pretty interesting to find one of those. Nice. Right, so yeah, health is a little spicy right now. Not the best. We do have um, what looks to be a euthanasia baby, which is uh, a sentence never thought I'd hear myself say, but it has been said. Oh my god. This floor with this damage is just atrocious. I think we're going to die, unfortunately. Like, things are just not looking super hot right now, especially now that I'm on 1 HP, which is a shame because our streak had been going kind of well. Um... But the damage, we just didn't get a single damage upgrade the entire run. And that's kind of, it's kind of flattened us. Yeah, rerolls a single item pickup or machine. Items will attempt to reroll into the same pool. Um, okay. I just don't think I have the, the capabilities, the damage to, to put forth. I think this room could even kill us because there's herming. Can we survive this? Oh, we don't have a bomb though. I was like, oh, we can bomb this thing. We don't have a bomb. Oh no, there you go. We do now. I don't even know where it was. It was like here, wasn't it? Oh, I can't even reach it. Bullshit. 
truly, truly horrible. We roll it into a full card, I guess that's something. this as close to my chest as I can, but don't know if it's going to be enough. Just not getting any HP or help from anywhere, really, are we? There's the HP. The world... Pretty good. Would be good for that secret room, if only I had a bomb. Unfortunately, we have gone completely the wrong way here as well, which doesn't help. Certainly does not help. Um, I guess I could get rid of this trinket now. Need a bomb for that. Just, I know it's a good trinket, but like, health is far more important right now. If I get a bomb, go down there and bomb that guy, I think. Secret room is good, but that's probably better. Is this the version that doesn't dash? No. Incorrect. It's just the version that's really bad at dashing. Oh shit, wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, that's so much health. Oh wait, where'd the red heart go? Oh, it was the red heart path that item that throws it up in the air, I think it was. I was like, a red heart and a soul heart. Holy hell. Okay. It's not overly terrible at the moment. Our health isn't awful. It's not great, but it's, it's certainly acceptable. We can kill Isaac on this health, I think. And there's not much more to go after that. Adjustment. I was hoping it gave me two hearts. Um, I'll do the trinket stuff after this. Good tier effect to start with. Oh shit. The car is in like the best position ever right now. It's just blocking all of his shots. Keep that car right there for now. Ah, you bastard. You moved it. What I just say? But you can see just about how long it's taken us to get him into second phase. How little damage we really have. For what we are in the game. At least we've got more than base, but it's not a lot. Not a lot more than base, I'd say. Do you know, since I started this episode and said I might go outside and have my lunch, the weather has started to look considerably worse. It looks a lot more murky outside now, and it's like, ugh. God damn it. Kind of looking forward to going out, but now it's looking horrible, looking like it might rain. Which, to be fair, it was meant to rain today anyway, so... But still, I'm annoyed by that. Okay, good stuff. All stats up, we'll just keep that. And we'll hope the four items we get here really turn things around a little bit in terms of our damage output. Otherwise, there's going to be a slow and grueling floor. None of these help at all. <laughs> Can I mean, Candy Heart could help. Oh, Conjoined is good, although it does lower our damage. That's key. Turn everything into poop quickly before it runs out. I'm 
here. Ooh, that's, that's, that's potentially pretty good. It's only three, but it'll do. It's slightly annoying that our, active, uh, that our active item gave us Dad's key, which is very temporary and not very useful. Ghosty boys have been distracting us always. Okay. Front joint seems decent here. Especially if we get the right tier effects. I mean, this teeth one is kind of insane. The electric one's always good as well. Don't know what this guy's plans are at the minute. Slightly worried, but yeah, that's giving us stats as well when we get red hearts, which is nice. Interesting room design here. Just a bunch of enemies that kill each other. Oh, you fucker! I didn't realise he was active. Very bad damage. Walked right into it, quite literally. Trying to stand close to get all three conjoined shots to hit here. Killed enemies count as being killed twice, causing on de uh, death effects to trigger twice, among other things. Um, spawns a bunch of harmless ghosts that quickly die, triggering on kill effects. This also triggers... Okay. A really cool idea, to be honest. We don't have a ton of on death effects right now. Oh, I got... Oh, shit! I got Mum's knife for the rest of the floor, baby! Hell yes! Not very jazzed about that damage, but Mum's knife for the rest of the floor is pretty goddamn ace. Certainly alleviates some of my damage concerns. I have to say, very annoying boss to have to face off against right now, though. This is horrible. These enemies can actually go fuck off. You guys need to chill. All the bad gases and all that nonsense. What, what the hell's left? There's a single spider over here. Wait, no. There's still something left. There's another spider over here. Fire in a triple shot. Ooh, interesting. Um... Ah, it doesn't affect us. Okay, it's fine. Guppy's tail. Actually, Guppy's tail could be kind of nutty here, so don't mind that at all. Give me more chests. No, 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 Shard of Glass. Do not think so, my guy. Spider baby, hey yo. Hemolacria? How does that work with this? I kind of want to get that. Ah, it's overwritten. Super sad. Super upsetting. Just increased our charge time by a lot and that's basically it. This is going to be tricky. Honestly, I think Hemolacria was a bad pick up there. I thought I had some sort of synergy. Sad to see that it doesn't. Even with the extra Mum's Knife Synergy mod. I'm using right now. Into the last form. Okay, we're good. We just about scraped that through. I ain't doing void here. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.